es Bambinita. Bambini, Bambini. I'm a little chorro, it's Bambini. Come, let's learn in various fun. It's an educational TV show. Bambini! Yay! Hi, lovely viewers. It's another interesting episode on Time with Stone Girl. And on today's episode, we are coming to talk about never giving up on your talents. First of all, talent is an inborn and special ability of a person to do something. Bambini, Bambini, I'm a little... Often, people give up on their talent because they lack self-discipline and they sometimes don't believe in yourself. No matter how talented you are, without self-discipline, you can't reach your full potential or destiny. Bambini, Bambini, I'm a little... The first thing you can do to improve on your talent is to know how talented you are and nurture it and also improve in your formal education, which will help you in future. Bambini, Bambini, I'm a little... We shouldn't engage ourselves with people who don't, who don't believe in us and also we shouldn't follow bad companies. Bambini, I would like to tell the people who don't believe in kids with special talents that they should please believe in us because we are special and we need their support so that we we'll bring us our best. And I would also like to tell the people who do believe in kids with special talent that they should continue believing in us and keep supporting us. Lovely viewers, it's freestyle time. Today I have a surprise for you. Enjoy. Yes, cute Tim. No, yeah, yeah. Medassi. It ain't called you, Gide. Jam rhythm. No. Rockstar. DJ Tramilala. Drop the song, make me dance. Oh, DJ Tramilala. Drop the song, make me dance. Party there today, not darling. Hey, mama, hey, I ever said, not darling. Shake your body, man, you're gonna, not darling. Hey, mama, hey, I ever said, not darling. Uh, so, where the party there today, not darling. Uh, hey, mama, hey, I ever said, not darling. Shake your body, man, you're gonna, not darling. Hey, mama, Lovely viewers, I hope you all loved my little dance moves. And please don't laugh at me. Please, I beg you. And it's time for me to read your comments on my social media handles. Lovely viewers, these comments are from my YouTube channel. This one says, I am Miracle to Four. She said, this girl is talented. Thank you very much, Auntie Miracle. This one says, I am Exhibit Junior from Dubai. Stoneboy must see this girl. Thank you very much from everyone watching me from outside the country. Please. I thank you really, really well. And please, this one says, I am Franca upon my girl again with the love emojis. Her voice alone can kill depression. Thank you. This one says, I am Panda Danogo. This girl is very nice and I like her voice. Thank you very much. This one says, I am Prince Ankoma. Stone girl is a star. Thank you. And I'm signing. So, lovely viewers, these comments are from my Instagram page. This one says, I am Cecilia. God bless you, Stone girl. Thank you. God bless you too. This one says, I am Captain Jumbo. Beautiful. Thank you, Captain Jumbo. These comments are also from my Facebook handle. This one says, I am me and ye, I you, 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 I you,
Thank you. This is 6 a.m. Justin Queen, amazing. Thank you to this one says I am Edward Butchy, lovely. Thank you. Please, if you want me to read your comments like how I just did, you can follow me on my social media accounts: Facebook, Aurelia, Instagram, Stone Girl to Twitter, Stone Girl to YouTube. Don't girl official and please don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe and ask me any question you want to ask me and I, Stone Girl, will give you the answer. Lovely viewers, tips for the day. Please, your life is in your hands and you are 100% responsible for how your life turns out to be. So lovely viewers, this is the end of Time with Stone Girl on the number one kids channel, Bambini Show. Catch you same time next week. It's bye-bye for now. Hello, I welcome you all one of people to the award of Bambini Show. As you can see, always with Helena. And my name is Ruby Savako Amazalo. Today we have a lot to offer for you. Wonderful thing. Hey, you going to be with me, but then we're doing here. There's going to be some reminiscing on the show and then learning and having fun all the same. So, Helena, what do you have to say? Well, you've been moved on the show. <sighs> so, as we do it here on the Bambini show, we sanitize our hands as yeah, well. Yeah. And then we have our digital classroom, which is um, ICT, where... Um, the teacher will be teaching us yes. something, yeah. yeah. So yeah. get ready Some for that. Processing and all that. Yeah, yes. information so. processing. Come this way. You all should be there. So we are sanitizing our hands. Some for Helena and some dress for me. And please don't forget to be wearing your nose marks anytime you're out there and wash your hands. With yes. water and one water social. and then observing the social distancing. So Helena. We still are in ICT. <laughs> so this wasn't heavy as we know on the show. So please be at home. I know a lot of you in the school, people are craving to go back to school. That's school cravings. Not food cravings. That's school cravings. Mm -hmm. So we're going to sing uh, one of our old um, marching songs. Hang on, we'll sing just some line of um, old, <laughs> um, <laughs> yes, old marching song. And I'll do this. So I have a feeling. Of you know those school feelings, you know you are, you are missing school loss. We are bringing you back to the school. So hey now, what is the oldest? <laughs> 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 no, what's the oldest and then favorite matching song? Okay, uh, I remember this one, Jack and Joe. Wow, okay, so I love that too. It goes like this: Should I match? Then we are matching together. It's like okay. So we are going to get up with the siblings and let's match together. Jack and Joe went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his arms. La 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 la. Okay, and later, you see that for this time, Eliza, all these things, that's my favorite too. Okay. And then this one that they, they, they sing, I learned it from a kid okay. in the house. They say, Oh, my home, my home. Oh, my home, my home. Where shall I see my home? Where shall I see my believer? I will never forget my home. Oh, my home, my home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I miss where I I miss junior high school. I can't wait to get back to be a kid and go back to junior high school. It was the best. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, okay, so that's all, right? Yeah, that's all. Okay, so we are going to a digital classroom where we meet our teacher, our uh -huh. ICT yeah. teacher. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. So stay back and learn. Be right back after the lessons. It's fun time at the kids' place playground. We've got the latest toys like motor cars, truckle string, trampoline, mascots, and costume, bouncy castle, swimming pool, and playground food and sweets such as popcorn are also available. We open from Mondays to Sundays, Mondays to Saturdays at 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. shop, and Sundays at 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. We open for all occasions such as your birthday parties and indoor and outdoor games too. We open also on vacation and all holidays. Kindly call us on 0267 
375152. We are located at Dansiman Estate, close to the Good Night Hotel, behind that is Complex School. Hello, Bambini fans. Welcome back to Bambini Digital Classroom. I am your IT master, Mr. Prince Kweku Ehima from Redeemer School, Accra. Today, we are continuing the last week lesson. We started a topic which we termed as information processing cycle. This topic is going to tell us how a computer works, i.e. how a computer converts, changes, or process data into information. You remember that last week we looked at data, the difference between data and information. We said data is a raw fact. That, that, that is not meaningful, and that must be processed to get information. So we do something to data to get information. Now we look at sources of data. We said there are two sources of data. We have internal source and external source. Then we also look at information. We said information is a processed data that is meaningful. We went on to look at the uses of information. We said information can be used for making planning, or it can be used for planning, for controlling, for monitoring. It can also be used for making decisions. So this should tell us that information is very important. Now we move on to look at the stages in the information processing cycle. So, we have on the screen the various stages in information processing cycle. We have five stages. The input stage, the processing stage, the storage stage, the output stage, and the distribution stage. So, these are the step-by-step -step process a computer goes through to process information for us. Last week, we looked at the input stage, we looked at the output stage, and we looked at the processing stage. We are going to continue from there. So, a quick reminder. Input stage is a stage where data is entered into the computer for processing. With the help of devices we call input devices. So we can see examples of input devices on the screen. We have keyboard, mouse, scanner, joystick, camera, biometric devices. The biometric devices is used to read our finger tips. When your parents go to the Electoral Commission Center or the police station to register, they put their fingers on a particular device. That device captures their fingers. And that device is what you call biometric devices. It is input device because it sends our fingers into the computer. These are some of the images we look at the other day, input devices, keyboard, mouse, joystick, scanner, camera, they are all input devices. You see them there. Now, we also look at processing stage. And we said it is where the data is being converted into information. And then there is a device that is in the computer that helps at this stage. And that device is what you call microprocessor or central processing unit. That is where the main conversion of data into information is done in the computer. Now, we also look at storage stage. That is where we ended. This is where data is being stored for future use. 
So the data has been processed for us to get information. So the information you get is now going to be saved. It's now going to be kept for future use. So there are devices that help at this storage stage. These devices are known as storage devices. So example of them are RAM, random access memory, ROM, read-only memory, hard disk drive, floppy disk, pen drive, compact disk, memory stick, etc. So you can see their images. So you've seen the image of a hard disk, image of a RAM, image of a ROM, image of CD, image of floppy disk, an image of a memory card, and then we have the pen drive there. Today, we are going to concentrate on the output stage. What actually happens at the output stage? We will all be happy if we are able to see what the computer has done. So this is the stage where the computer displays what it has processed to the user. This stage is what we call output stage. And then there are some devices around the computer that helps to output or display information to the user. These devices are collectively known as output devices. So output devices are the devices that helps to display the results of what the computer has done to the user. Let's look at some examples of output devices. We have monitor, printer, speakers, projector, plotter, headphones, etc. These are examples of output devices. They are the devices that help to display information to the user. Let's look at the images. We have the monitor on the screen. There are two monitors on the screen. We have the CRT, which stands for cathode ray tube. So that computer, that monitor, the first one is cathode ray tube monitor. The second one is liquid crystal display monitor, LCD. You also call it plasma. You also call it flat, flat screen, LCD. You see the image of the printer. That's the printer. We have the headset or the headphone. It is an output device. It projects. It brings out sound. We have the plotter. The plotter is used to print on large formats. In a large format, our bay balls, the big bay balls we see around, we use plotter to print them. We have the speaker. The speaker projects sound to, for people to listen. Then the projector. Most of us use the projectors in our churches, our schools, and in public gathering. The projector is used to project the functionality of the monitor to a large number of people. So we can project it on the wall, or we have a projector cloth that you can project it for the image to be large. So that device is what we call projector. And the projector is on the screen. Now, we move on to look at the last stage in the information processing cycle. Someone can tell you that, oh, sir, if I can now see what the computer has done, then let me end it here. No, don't be selfish. Anytime you get something, you should be able to share. So the question is, how do we share information? And that is the next stage we are going to look at. This stage is what you call distribution stage. This is where the information we have processed is being distributed. It's shared among our friends, our relatives, and our colleagues. So the state where information is shared is what we termed as distribution stage. This is the last stage in information processing cycle. 
They are devices that help to distribute the information we have. Let's look at some of these devices. We can distribute our information through email. So we can send the information you have processed to your colleagues through email. So email is distribution device. You can also distribute it through television. As you see me on television, I am distributing, I am sharing information with you or to you. So we can share information through television. We can share information through radio. You listen to radio, that someone is talking to you through radio. What a person is doing is that the person is sharing something with you or to you. We can also use what you call fax machine to share information or to distribute information. Fax machines were used in those days to share information. Fax machine for sharing information. We can also use mobile phones to share information. There are so many things on the mobile phones that you can use to share information. You can also share information through some of the programs on your mobile phones. You know them. Zender, Bluetooth, WhatsApp, and all those things are all on the mobile phones. So they are grouped under the mobile phones. So, Mambini students, this is all what I have for you today. And a recap of it is that today we are able to look at how a computer works, how the computer converts data, a raw data, into a meaningful information. We have said that the computer is a programmable machine that is able to accept data, process the data, brings out information, then helps to distribute the information and can also be used to store information. So before I end today's lesson, I have assignments on the board here for you. And uh, these are the questions. There are only two questions. Question one is asking you to define the following. To define the following. Define the following. Define the following. A, input devices. B, processing devices. C, output devices. D, storage devices and distribution devices. Question two, identify any four examples to each of the following devices. A, input devices. B, output devices. C, storage devices. You can send the assignment to me. My number is on the screen, Mr. Prince Kweku Ehima, on 0241-902927. Thank you very much, as I used to do every day. I would love to meet you every day on Bambini Show. So try and observe the COVID-19 protocols. Make sure you wash your hands frequently. Wear your nose mask whenever you step out. Use your hand sanitizers and stay at home if you don't have anything to do outside. Thank you very much. Stay blessed. Bye-bye. <laughs>
Yes. <laughs> We're not forgetting the social media handles. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, and always remember, follow us on Instagram, Bambini Show, Twitter, Bambini, Facebook, Bambini, and um, subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is Bambini TV. Mm -hmm. Comment and like. If you miss any of our episodes, just go on YouTube mm -hmm. and watch. Mm -hmm. My name is Helena Quest. And I am Rudy Sifako Amazado. Call me Rudy, and that's so lovely. <laughs> so, we to do this while we are ending the show. Please don't miss the next episode right here on Bambini Show every Saturdays. So, what do we have to say? Bye bye. <laughs>